you know, I'm going to jump straight into this video because it just, uh, it's going to be one where I'm just in complete and utter amazement sometimes. And today is one of those occasions where, you know, some people scare me and they scare me bad as far as not really, I would say, I think it's more of an exposure to life and just paying attention to things around you maybe perhaps not getting as involved with life as uh, some people should. And then I want to talk about jobs and how it is that some people hold a job uh, without any common sense. And both of those are kind of going to roll up into one. And don't misunderstand me. I'm not by any means bashing a particular group or particular peoples, um, whether it be you know male, female, uh, white, black, or whatever. I'm just, in general, people sometimes just scare me. And the example that I have is uh, I went to the grocery store to, what was I getting? Some paper towels this afternoon uh, on my way back in from uh, putting in a couple of resumes and applications at some places. And, you know, we just were something I don't chit chat about with the one lady that I know that works there. And this girl apparently was training, and I was like, oh, man, uh, check out your hair. You look like uh, that you do cosplay or something like that. I was like, do you, do you go to anime conventions or anything like that? And she looked at me upside the head like I was trying to, like, you know, make fun of her or something. And she was like, no. She goes, I don't even know what a cosplay is. And I was like, anime? I was like, are you into any type of anime? You know, maybe, no, I don't, I, what is anime? And this girl was like, I don't know, maybe, maybe 18 or 19 years old, all right? The lady that I knew that I was talking to originally, she was like probably in her late 40s, early 50s, I guess. And she knew what I was talking about, you know, Japanese animation. And she didn't say anything. She goes, it's, you, you, you don't know what that is? And there was a lady standing behind me looking at me like I grew about three heads. And I was like, do you know what anime is? She goes, what, what's an anime? And I was like, oh, okay then. I mean, that right there, just to me, for any individual not to know what anime is, uh, or, you know, even if you have it wrong in your mind and maybe not think of it as Japanese animation, but cartoons or any type of, you know, animation, but not to know the term anime is just absolutely scary. And it kind of makes me wonder, what do people do behind closed doors? I mean, are they just staring at that door that they're behind and learn nothing? I mean, nothing. I mean, it's just almost like people going through life mindlessly, and as long as they survive until their last day, they seem like maybe they feel like they accomplished something. Just to certain terms and I mean there's so many other ones that I've, I'll bring up and people are like what is that I'm like oh lord have mercy one of the biggest ones is Skype I mean a lot of people say what's a Skype I'm like it's on the internet where you can talk to people for free anywhere in the world on your computer never heard of it I was like you ought to look into it it'll save you a lot of money you know especially if you got relatives like overseas or friends and you know save on international calls on your cell phone or your home phone it's free and I mean that's one of the biggest ones but for a person not to know what anime is that's just crazy and then I go by the electric company because I uh, had a little bit left over from some money I acquired this past week and I was gonna go by there and pay a hundred dollars on my bill which I figured my bill wouldn't be like it'd be under two hundred dollars and I was like well you know I'm gonna go ahead and pay a hundred dollars now company and I put $100 on the counter. I was like, I'd like to pay $100 on my account. Which the account, she opens it up. And she goes, okay. And she starts filling out the receipt. I was like, uh, by the way, I didn't get a bill, which I didn't. I didn't get So, by the way, how much do I uh, have left after I pay this? She said $484. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good one. I was like, and I just clicked in my mind. She's got to be joking with me. And she goes, no, you, that's how much you owe. I was like, no. Like, unless I left every light on in the house, like, lady, you got to understand, I'm not even home half the time anymore. And I have fluorescent bulbs. I'm in one room with a computer, perhaps two. 
and, a, and I'm telling you, if a laptop and a desktop draws $400 worth of electricity, I'm fixing to stop this, <laughs> even cranking them up anymore. And I said, I got one light on, you know, sometimes I have a speaker on in the back for Skype, or, and I have this one here, and, but they run off of batteries mainly. I can just do this and run it off the battery, you know. And I was like, there's no way. I'm like, I'm usually always in one room. And, you know, of course, when I go to the bathroom or go to bed and, or get ready to go to bed, and that's it. I was like, there's no way one person. Well, yes, sir, that's what it is. Like, well, she said the last time you had a zero balance was in December. And I was like, no, I came in January, about this time in January, and paid it down. I was like, I told the guy, matter of fact, the guy that just went to lunch, I told him that I wanted to pay all of it to get it down to a zero balance while I had, you know, had the, the means to do so. And she said, no, you owe, you know, that's how much you owe. I was like, you know, anymore, I was like, I don't want you to take it the wrong way, but what part of all do people not understand these days? And I specifically remember this guy. You know, I paid, uh, he said I owe 212 and I was like, well, the bill said I owe 242 and I was a couple of days late on this. Like, I think it was like five days behind on it, but I let them know in ahead so they didn't have it late charge and all that. And I was like, it's got to be at least $242. He goes, no, sir, all you owe is 212 And I left. I didn't think nothing of it. I was like, well, you know, I hadn't been home much. This next bill's not going to be that bad. should be under $200 so I can handle that. And then for her to drop a bomb like $484, I'm like, man, that's like a freaking uh, family of 10 to use that. And, and my point to that story is, is like, you know, I go to the same place every single month. And I tell them the same thing every single month. I either, you know, pay half of it or damn near close to half. Or I say, let me pay all of it and get it all paid up, balance due to zero, you know, and that's usually what I do. And they should know a person or keep up with some people's because, I mean, I have a mug that a lot of people can't forget. And I carry myself in a very confident manner. I'm not a, a jerk or anything, but I carry myself in a very confident manner, whereas, you know, I, I'm a personable person, in other words. And, you know, I'm not afraid to, to speak to people where, you know, I go, hey, how you doing today? What's going on and all that? And, you know, for them to ask me every single month, what's your name, what's your address? You know, in the past six years that I've been here, they should have remembered me at least, you know, all of them in there, especially the guy and the other two ladies that I deal with on a consistent basis. And there's one girl, one lady from Bulgaria who knows who I am. She just types it, types it up in the computer. I wish... I guess, you know, anymore you got to say, no, I'm going to wait on this person. But you don't want to be rude like that. But it seems like sometimes you have to be because if a person doesn't understand the meaning of the word all, it's just kind of scary. And I guess that's going to, where I'm going with all this is, is where, how are these people acquiring these jobs? And how do they hold on to a job if they can't, like, you know, number one, be personable with the customers? And number two, at least remember, you know, a customer that's normal, that regularly comes in and pays their bill. Because a lot of people mail their electric bill and your utilities, and they'll drop it in the mail. I mean, mine is like, you know, across the, the island there on the main road. And I mean, I could probably throw a rock through everything and probably hit right in front of the building. You know, it's that close. So I just always drive over there on my way out to, to, to town or whatever. And that's what I did today. And it's just crazy that, you know, people can't remember other people from the past. I mean, even I, as many subscribers as I have, but the people that, you know, send me emails on a regular basis or I talk with them on Skype, uh, not even not even on a regular basis, you know, I, I see the name and I recognize it, and I'm like, okay, that's who that is. Or if they go by one name, screen name on the Internet, and another name on Skype or whatever, and then they say, oh, this is so-and-so. I was like, oh, okay, then. Perfect example, last night, flashing. You know, we were uh, in uh, my chat on Mogulus.com, and he needed some help with his computer. Well, he jumped in over on Skype under a different name, and he goes, hey, man, this is Flash. And I was like, okay, then I know who that is. So, I mean, it's like, you know, and I don't talk with these guys on a regular basis. So, and this isn't my job. And that's what's so, so funny about it is people that are on a job that see, you know, you have a particular fan base, okay? You know who comes in and pays their bills. You know who comes to the grocery store and buys their groceries there, you know, and it just seems to me like 
any it goes right back to what I said. People just wander through life aimlessly and they could give a, a shit less about who you are as a person. And I think that's wrong. Uh, me personally, you know, leave craft chest out of it. You know, Dustin thinks that's wrong, you know, as a person. And it's just crazy that as a society we've gone that way. I mean, hell, we got Obama in office now. Everybody's supposed to be all happy go lucky and love one another. What, what happened with that? He hadn't even been in office over a, a month and everybody's already just getting worse as far as wanting to know people. It's just crazy. I mean, we're supposed to be on a new era, folks. Come on. Start remembering your buddies. Start remembering your customers. It's your duty as a citizen of the United States of America to start loving one another. <sighs> like that'll ever happen. Boom.